everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my Christian girl essentials. So I did this video about a year ago and I have a lot of new things to share with you guys. In the beginning, I'm gonna share some of my essentials, some of my must-haves for just being a Christian and maintaining a relationship with God. Then I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of my Christian favorites, such as movies, books, YouTube, all kinds of things. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and hop in. <laughs> Dash is making a little cameo. All right, so my first Christian girl essential is my Bible. I think that owning a Bible, reading a Bible daily is a very essential to your walk with God. I will also read my Bible on the Bible app on my phone, but for my quiet time with God, I will read this Bible. I usually read a couple verses at a time, ponder them, study them, things like that. And it really helps me out a lot, but I highly recommend getting yourself a Bible. This is just the New King James Version, and I really, really like this one. It's really easy to understand. I am going to mention, though, that it doesn't really matter what kind of Bible you have. If you enjoy reading the NIV Version or ESV, which I've read both of those, that is totally fine. I don't think it matters what version of the Bible that you read, as long as it's the Holy Bible and you're reading it. The next thing that I think that every Christian girl should have are notebooks. I use notebooks to write whenever I'm studying. I will always write down the verse or verses that I'm studying or I will write down what my thoughts are or different translations or things to remember, whatever the case may be. But I really recommend having some notebooks. I also like to write down prayers. I really enjoy writing them down and then whenever they get answered, I'll make a little note of that. But it's just really nice to see those prayers come to fruition and know that God is always there and that God is actually listening to me when I pray. So my next essential is to have a specific time of day that you sit down and have quiet time with God. And a lot of people recommend doing this first thing in the morning, but to me, it could be any time of day. I know one thing though, is that nighttime is probably not your best time because I know that for me, I get really tired at night. My brain is not <laughs> functioning well. I'm just exhausted. I just wanna relax, watch TV or whatever. I'm not really focused on anything. The best time for me is around noon, a little bit before lunch, sometimes after lunch, but it's right around noon to one o'clock. And I really enjoy having that quiet time with God every single day. That is essential for your relationship with God. It is essential to have quiet time, to have prayer time, to have Bible time. You can throw them all together just like I do. I pray throughout the day, but just having that quiet time to sit down, talk to God, open your heart, share your heart with them. It's very, very important. Another thing to go with your Bible is some highlighters. I really enjoy having highlighters to highlight the verses that I study. I don't highlight every single verse I've read or the whole Bible would be highlighted, but I highlight every verse that I study, every verse that I ponder, every verse that I pray about, every verse that I write down. And for me, I only study one to two verses at a time. So I like to highlight them to know what I studied, to know what I haven't studied. And sometimes I study the same verse twice that's totally fine but I just like remembering that but I really love having my highlighters to do that all right so now I'm gonna talk about some of my Christian girl favorites and I'm gonna start out with YouTube because I don't know about you but I'm on YouTube 24 7 YouTube is my main source of entertainment education and everything in between to be honest so my first favorite Christian creator is a Morgan Tracy J. Someone showed me her channel not too long ago and I fell in love. I love how confident she is when she talks about God. I can tell that she has a great relationship, a great walk with God, and I can tell that she's just got the Holy Spirit running right through her. I just love her channel. She's very positive but also educational when it comes to God's Word and I highly recommend you check her out. I will leave her link as well as all the other links for anything that I talk about in this video in the description so check it out 
My next favorite Christian creator is a personal friend of mine and his channel is called The Current Christian. I was featured in a recent video of his and I'll leave that link in the description as well as the link to his channel. But he has some really good content. You should really check out his channel, especially if you're trying to figure out God's purpose for your life. He's coming out with a book that's going to talk all about that and his videos are just very educational but also super fun to watch. So I definitely think you should go check his channel out. So and next are my Christian book favorites and the first one is a book that I think that everyone should read. We all struggle with thoughts and the devil getting into our mind and feeding us negative thoughts and things like that. And this book is called Battlefield of the Mind by Joyce Meyer. It's such a good book. I love so many of her books, but I think that this one is something that everyone can relate to. You can listen to it on YouTube. If I can find that, I'll leave the link for that in the description, but please check it out, you guys. It is so good for your mind, for your soul, for your spirit. It is such a good book. So my next favorite book is Emergency Prayers, God Help in Your Time of Need, and it's by Deborah Smith Pegs. I actually found this book on my bookshelf, and I started reading it, and it has so many different prayers. I mean, it has prayers for anything that you might be going through. I can't sleep. My death is imminent. Let's see what else we got. I need to evaluate my expectations. I cannot forgive a hurt. There's so many different prayers in here. It's just like your 911 guide when you're struggling with something. There's everything that you could imagine in here. If I can find the link to this book on Amazon or wherever the case may be, I will definitely put this in the description because it is a must read and a must own. All right, so next we are gonna move on to my favorite Christian movies. And my first one is called The War Room. This movie, you guys, is absolutely riveting. I was on the floor when I watched this movie. It was so incredible. It was so amazing. And it just makes you realize the incredible power of prayer and what that can do for your life. That's why I love having my prayer journal. And before, I did have a prayer closet and I really really love that but I love having my prayer journal just writing down those prayers but I will leave the link to that movie if you want to check it out on Amazon or wherever I'll leave the link to that I highly recommend it you guys it is such a good movie I love it so much the next one is another one of my all-time favorites starring one of my favorite Christian actors which is Kirk Cameron and the movie is called Fireproof this is such a great movie if you're struggling with a relationship it's so good and it's based off of a book called The Love Dare, which is a really great book. I will link that book in the description. That's also a good resource if you're struggling with a relationship. It's just different ways that you can work on growing your relationship and what can you do for your spouse or your significant other or whatever the case may be. But the movie is absolutely incredible. And last but not least is my favorite Christian music. If you watched the last video, which I will link in the description, my Christian girls must haves, I talked about Caleb and Kelsey and y'all, they are still my favorite. They are still my favorite. I love them so much. I probably listen to their worship music most just because their voices are so amazing and incredible. They do a lot of covers of popular Christian songs and I really enjoy listening to them. I'll link their channel in the description. So you should definitely check them out. Um, but yeah, I love them. <laughs> Last is Mercy Me. Mercy Me is such a great band. They've been around for a while. And I think my favorite song by them is called In Christ Alone. And it's such a good song. It's great if you're just feeling a little bit low and you need some comfort. You need some help from Jesus. And it's just, it's so awesome. I first heard the song In Christ Alone as it was covered by Christina Grimmie. I will leave that video in the description. That is such an amazing video. She has such an amazing voice. Rest in peace, Christina Grimmie. But yeah, that song is absolutely amazing. But they have other songs that are just really great as well. All right, guys. So that is going to be it for my Christian girl essentials or must-haves, whatever you want to call them. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed filming it. I really love sharing some of my favorite things that I love or listen to or read whatever the case may be that might be able to help you in your life so again thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one stay beautiful Mwah. bye